Successive 8th, 16th, and 32nd notes are generally connected with beams instead of each note having individual flags. The beams are horizontal lines connecting the tops of the note stems. The top beam is thicker. The number of beams correlates to the number of flags per note. The beams do not cross over the second and third beat. In 4-4 meter, it is customary to start a new beam group as though an imaginary line divides the bar in half between. The same rhythm can be written in different ways. Always try to use the simplest way so the notation is easy to read. Here are some basic guidelines. Guideline 1. It is usually better to use one note or rest of longer duration than to tie together two or more smaller values. Guideline 2. Think of each 4-4 measure as being divided into two halves between beats 2 and 3. Complete each side of the measure keeping the third beat visible. Guideline 3. Only half notes or larger can be written over the imaginary line between beats 2 and 3 and only if they begin on the beat. This rule does not apply to rest values. The examples below do not begin on the beat and are considered incorrect. The correct notation keeps the same duration values but is written so as to show the full beat. When a beat is subdivided into an eighth note and a rest, the subdivided beat should be completed with an eighth note or rest before the next beat begins. Quarter rests and half rests should always begin on the beat, never on the end of the beat. The incorrect example below shows a quarter rest that begins on the end of the beat. In the correct version, the first eighth rest completes beat one, and the second eighth rest begins on beat two. In the next example, the incorrect measure shows a quarter rest that begins on the end of beat three. To correct this, the quarter rest is shifted to represent beat three, and the eighth rest and note together complete beat four. This concludes our lessons on music rhythm.